Oh, what was that sound? I heard something. Am I being haunted? What's up guys, we're back with another epic battle video. Today we're doing a very ghostly battle, a haunted battle against Yu-Gi-Mo. We have the legendary gold series haunted mine and this is the european version i believe you can get misprints in here the misprint uh foil shift kind of thing it's really cool we can get the blue eyes white dragon ghost rare one of the coolest cards out there i'm pretty excited hopefully we can pull that we also have 30 ghosts from the past so we have another chance to get another ghost rare we're looking for there's five in here it's a guaranteed ghost rare per pack and hopefully another one so six is what we're looking for before we do that, we do have a quick giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do, like this video, be subscribed, and let me know if me or yu gi -Oh won the battle. Go check out his link down below after you've watched my video, and then watch his and see who had better pulls. It was us. Okay, so let's get right into this. We did a battle with yu gi -Oh fairly recently, and it, I think it was a, two weeks ago, and it was fairly close. I think, but I, think I, I may have edged him out. It was very close. Um, so let's make it more definitive this time so we don't have to, you know, even consider that he won. Let's open this up. We've got a Gold Series Haunted Mine. This is an epic product. You can pull Solemn Judgment Ghost Rare, Mystical Space Typhoon Ghost Rare. You can pull the Blue Eyes White Dragon Ghost Rare. All that epic stuff in these. One, there's a guaranteed Ghost Rare every pack. It's pretty crazy. The, the only time they've ever done that. So it's really exciting. So we have those out and ready to go. We've got our ghost shirt packs. We're going to set them over here. We don't want too much glare going on. So we're going to start off with the ghost from the past. We have pulled three Dark Magician and three Blue Eyes Alternative and nothing else. I pulled a Firewall for someone else. I also pulled one of those Dark Magicians for Lewis, but still, it it's insane. We can't pull the other ones. We keep pulling the same one, Retrograde. I mean, I'm not complaining. Those are the two best cards in the set. It's just weird. It's weird how it keeps happening. I do really like Alternative Dragon. Honestly, probably my favorite card in this set. Sunvine Shrine, it's grown on me a lot. Cypher Blade. Splash Mage. Get a Medfuls. And a Sun Avalon Dryano. Oh yeah, guys. I also wanted to remind you guys, this coming Saturday, so you're seeing this on Sunday, next Saturday, so six days from now, we are opening every special edition. I have them all on hand. I'm probably recording it the same day that I'm recording this one. It's going to be pretty crazy. I can't wait to actually do that opening. It should be fun. Retro Pack 1, Retro Pack 2, Shadow of Infinity, Elemental Energy, all that crazy stuff. Time for Thief Retrograde. And a Meteor Black Comet Dragon. Okay, slow start for the Ghost. But yeah, you guys are not going to want to miss that one. It's going to be absolutely insane. I have a ton of other big openings coming up, but that is really, that's the highlight coming up soon. It's going to be sort of a 90k special since we passed it, but uh, we'll retroactively make it 90k special. Hieratic Dragon. And a Dragoonity Whirlwind. Okay, slow start. Let's go into one of the Gold Series Haunted Mines. So they're Gold and Ghost. I mean, how about that? A lot of people don't really like them. I'm a huge fan. I think it's really, really cool. I think it's a really awesome item to have. So I've never opened the European version. I have opened the North American box before. You guys can check that one out. The pulls were uh, they're pretty rough. So you might want to check that one out. We actually had some good luck when I opened this in the every pack opening. I opened one pack. We got the Blue Eyes. Um, so that's where I've had my luck with this set. Other than that, it was pretty rough. So inside, they give you one single pack, guys. So uh, it's pretty weird. One single pack. And inside, you get 25 cards. I believe it's three golds and one ghost or something like that. Let's see. Entire set includes... Uh, there's six ghost rares, so you get five out of six. Unless you get duplicates or triples. Not saying like I've ever gotten triples before, but uh, <laughs> here we go, guys. First pack, it's a huge stack. I mean, 25 cards is insane. I believe that the Ghost is right at the front right there. So let's see if we go like this. I don't want to... Never mind! I ruined it! Okay, maybe that's the, the English version. All right, okay, we know what to do next time. Solemn Judgment. This is one of the ones I wanted. Is there anything on this foil? Are there any print lines? Okay, there they are. You guys see them? Right there are some print lines. Okay, print lines... That just means it's going in one of my decks, but that's really cool. Gold, Ghost, Solemn Judgment. I mean, the foil looks clean for the most part. It's not really bad. Okay, so uh, yeah, I tried to get cute with it, and I messed it up. So we have a Ghost Rare. Solemn Judgment is one of the best ones in the set. 
So that's a very good start. It just looks beautiful. I mean, does it not look beautiful? That is so cool. All right, let's go ahead and run through these since I sort of ruined the suspense. Okay, Ryukoki, because this is how it works in the, in the uh, North American print. So you get to the end of these comments and it's right there. It's right here. Okay, it's two gold rares. Nasturia Beast, I think, is a pretty good one. But yeah, so uh, that's what I was expecting. I forgot it was European, so it's going to be different. All right, so uh, at least we have four more, so I didn't ruin the blue eyes or something. That would be kind of bad. But Solemn Judgment is a very good one. I didn't get that the first time I opened. On to the next pack. It's not ruining any more packs. <laughs> we've got the uh, Heliopolis. That's a good card in Duel Links. Okay, we've got Time Thief. Heals and Root. And a Shooting Star Dragon TGEX. Oh, whenever I see that Synchro, I'm like, is it the, uh, the Crystal Wing? And the answer is no. I pulled three Crystal Wings out of Shining Victories, but I can't pull the Ghost Rare. Okay, here we go. Cypher Blade. Metaphors. Raid Raptor Tribute Lanius. Okay. So far, we haven't even hit like a decent card out of Ghost from the Pact. It's been pretty rough. We haven't even hit like one of the $1 or $2 cards. We're just hitting all the duds. Royal Prison. Backup Secretary. We got the Metaphors Gold Driver. Laval Archer. All right, Laval Archer. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. We're going to keep going. It's a ghost-filled hunt. We've got to beat Yu-Gi-Mo again. I think we're up 1-0 technically. It's very close. But uh, last time we were up 3-0 in a seven-game series of battles, and he came back and won. So we've got to redeem ourselves, guys. Sunvine Thrasher. All right, another one, another one. Let's try one more, and then we're going to go into another gold series, Haunted Mine. I am pretty excited about that. Very excited, actually. Hieratic Dragon. We've got the Metaphors Fusion. Mass change. Medolce Fresh to Start. And the Star Starry Night Ceremony. Okay, pretty rough start, guys. Next pack. Gold Series Haunted Mine. Let's pull it out. We've already started well with the Solemn Judgment. I'm very happy with that. I would love to pull MST and Blue Eyes. Those are the three cards that I like. Solemn Judgment, MST, and Blue Eyes. Those are all really, really cool. So if we can pull one copy of each, that'd be incredible. And if we got doubles any of those, I'd be happy. So let's go like this. Let's not ruin it this time. So we got the Tiki Curse, Dark Scorpion, Bone Crusher, Despair, Regenerating Mummy, Dark Scorpion, Hell Palmer, Gurnia. That's a Champion Pack 4 Ultra, I think. Yeah, Champion Pack 4, Pyramid Turtle. That's not bad. Book of Life. A lot of zombie stuff. I mean, it is Ghost, so it makes sense. Call the Mummy. Dark Mimic Level 1. We got the Hidden Spell Book, Zoma the Spirit. We're getting close. Dark Scorpion, Physical Double. Dawn of the Herald, Don Zaluk, and Goblin Zombie, another zombie. Hall of the Haunted. That's a cool gold rare. I like to see that. Cephalon, the Ultimate Time Lord, and will it be the Blue Eyes? Herald of Perfection. This is not one you're really looking for. Herald of Perfection. I can't remember. I think this is the really bad one. There's one that's like really bad. It's this one or the other one. I can never remember. So those level stars look like they have a little bit of the hollow going on there. I think that's the misprint. It can be a lot different, though. I can't really remember. It's not a huge misprint, but... Okay, so we have the, uh, yeah, the hollow and those stars. I mean, it's a pretty card. It looks really cool, but yeah. Not the one we're looking for. Okay. Rough start to this battle so far, to be honest. Three more ghost rares in there. Hopefully we have a ghost rare in some of these ghosts from the past packs. Can we pull another Dark Magician, Alternative, any of the other three? I mean, any Ghost, honestly, is going to be great. Dragoonity Legatus, we finally hit a decent card. It's like a $2 card, but that's the first one we've hit all day. It's the first okay card. Okay. Another Ghost Chance. Here we go. Every pack could have a Ghost. That would be, I mean, that'd be crazy, but it's possible. Oh. Meteor Black Comet Dragon. We still have a lot of Ghost Packs, so I'm feeling like uh, we still got a good chance. We still got a good chance. Don't give up yet. It's too early to give up. Terror of Trishula. Recover. Oh, and Necroz of... I never know how to say this guy. He used to be worth like two bucks. I think he's under a dollar now, so he's not great, but I'll sleeve him up. Okay. Maybe we can get an evenly matched. Maybe we can get a... Uh... Wow, that card's like damage on the back. If that's a Ghost, it's going to be... A bummer. It's not really... It's, it's a little bit of a ding. Arm Dragon level 10. Okay, that's it. That's the last card. That was also another one that was up... Uh, above, uh. That is also one that was up above a dollar for a while, but it's not now. All right. All right, guys. You got to believe in the heart of the ghost. Here we go. Evil Thorn. Sun Avalon. 
Dry a trinche. I don't know how to say that. Round three. Can we get the blue eyes white dragon? Come on, guys. Let's get a blue eyes. Or MST would be very cool. I, I own one, but I would love to have another one for all my decks that use MST. Like GOAT format and stuff. I think the GOAT shirt is one of the coolest versions. Okay, we're not going to go... This is what we're going to do. We're going to go like this. Okay, the gold's on the bottom. So let's be... Yeah, the ghost is right there at the top. So let's go through these real quick like this. I don't want to scratch the ghost shirt because they're very easy to scratch from this set. They're very uh, delicate. And they're already a little bit scratched up a lot of the time. Okay, there's all the comments. I just hit the card, so hopefully we didn't uh, scratch it. <laughs> we have Starlight Road. It's a cool card. Very cool. Dark Hole. That is a cool card, actually. That's really cool. Will this be the Blue Eyes? MST. Another Solemn Judgment. That's what we're looking for. Ooh, a Mystical Space Typhoon. So we did get one. Let's check the foiling. Yeah, there's definitely some... Uh, stuff on it but if you look at it like this oh my goodness that looks really really good that's an awesome pull probably going in a deck as well ghost rare mst that's very very cool our gold series haunted mine has actually been pretty decent but our ghost from the past needed to pick it up all right we're gonna need a blue eyes i think to win this because there's a good chance to pull one and if we don't pull one we're in a huge hole but other, i mean the mst and the solemn judgment are very good so if we just pull a blue eyes, it's a very good box. It's a very, very good box. All right, the Hieratic Sun Dragon, Hieratic Seal, Arc Brave, Metafoles, and Laval Archer at it again. He's arching. Now, will he stop arching? And can we get a Ghost Rare? Let's go. Time Thief. We've got the Sun Seed, Sun Vine, Laval Vol, and Sun Avalon. All right, all right. Okay, guys, we're over halfway through this opening. It has been fun so far. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to subscribe. We're on our way to 100K. Once we get there, Retro Pack 2, full box opening, Metal Raiders First Edition Pack, and more. It's going to be pretty crazy. e -Telly, there's a good card. And the Dragoonity. Armagram. I always want to say Amagram, and that is not correct. Okay. A couple more packs here, and then we're going to go back to Gold Series. Haunted Mine. Let's go. Mass Change. We got a Dark Rec Room. We got the Cosmo. Time thief pack. And Hell Should All Hollow. Speaking of hollows, let's get a Ghost Rare Hollow. That would be cool. Here we go. Hieratic Seal. Arc Brave. Metafoles. Phantom Knight Fogblade. Good. And Raid Raptor. Okay, Fogblade is a $2 card, so it's not bad. Second to last pack of Gold Series Haunted Mine. We've had decent luck so far. Two good ones and one not so great one. Let's see. Will it be the Blue Eyes White Dragon? Let's go. Let us do this. Let's pull the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Oh. All right, one second. One second while we fix this. Okay, guys, we fixed the, the destroyed setup. We did not move anything, so we're going to go like this. Okay, these corners are a little jacked, which is scary. We're going to look at the commons, which there are many. 22, actually. Dark Scorpion. Spellbook. Red Ogre. We got the Lady in White, I think, is actually an okay card. Patrician, Zombie Master, Don Zalug, and Dark Scorpion. The big cards of the pack. We've got a Graffa, Dragon, Lord of Dark World. Very cool. Call of the Haunted again. I mean, that's a cool one. It's got a chip on the edge already, which is not good. Hopefully that's on this card, not the Ghost. And will this be the Blue Eyes White Dragon? It is the Blue Eyes White Dragon! Oh, yeah! And it does have the Star Foil Bleed. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, this looks so good. I don't know how people don't like this card. This card looks incredible. The question is, should we make our Blue Eyes deck with a Ghost Rare or maybe three Ghost Rares? Who knows? Who knows? Let's check the back. Back looks pretty good. Let's check the foil. Do you guys see anything? I'm sure I'm missing something. There's always a foil print line. Yeah, maybe there's one right... Is that? Maybe that's a tablet. Is there a foil? Is there anything on here? Guys. Is there anything on this card? 
Um, I don't know. I don't see anything. Okay, let's put this in a sleeve while we check it out. I got to get a little closer. There might... You guys see that right there? That is a little something. I mean, this card might be worth submitting. This might be worth a shot because it is so hard to get tins on this card. Let's check the back for sure. Oh, never mind. Look at that corner. Oh, that beautiful foil has been ruined by these corners. These corners are not good. All right, well... It was fun while it lasted. At least it'll look really good. And, uh, you know, if we play it in the deck, that is a still a beautiful card, though. I don't care if we grade it or not. That still looks really awesome. That's definitely good for our battle, too. Our gold series has been a very good box. Three out of four have been incredible pulls. So that is awesome. I'm super happy with that card. I mean, oh, my goodness, that looks so good. How do people not like this card? Let me know your opinion in the in the comments. If you don't like it, tell me why. Is it because of the gold? I think the gold looks good, honestly. I think it does. All right, a few more packs, guys. Let's go. We have Gigantus, Emergency Teleport, and the Hieratic Seal. A few more Ghost Packs, and then we're going to that final Haunted Mine. Could we get a double Blue Eyes? It's possible. It is very possible. So hopefully that will happen. We have Laval Archer. Very cool. Can we get a Ghost Rare here to really top it all? I mean, that would be a very, very good opening. It would be tough for Yu-Gi-Mo to beat that. Honestly, if we pull a ghost right here and then also have blue eyes, MST and solemn judgment, that would be very, very tough. If he gets like double blue eyes, I mean, that would be pretty strong. But maybe if we got dark magician and blue eyes in the same video, can you guys imagine that dark magician pull ghosts and blue eyes in the same video? That would be so insane. I mean, we did get we did get alternative and dark magician in the same one time. But uh, yeah, hieratic seal of the heavenly spheres. That's a good one. All right, just five more packs here, and then we're going to go into the final gold series pack. All right, make sure you guys go check out Yugi Mode's video after this to see if he even has a chance against us. Hopefully he doesn't, because uh, we want to win. But uh, another higher headache seal, okay. But also definitely check it out, because he makes awesome videos, and he is, you know, attempting to beat us, which is a little bit foolish on his part. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, definitely go check out his video. We got a Levolve All Dragon. And Dragoonity Amorgram. Very cool. Hopefully he's not late this time because sometimes he's late, but uh, if he is late, I will post it on the community tab and you guys will be able to see it later. Roka, Sunvine, Time Thief, Neshadal Genius. That's a pretty okay one, like a dollar or two. Two more packs. Let's go. Okay. Sun Avalon Bloom, Hieratic Seal, Resonator Engine, Hieratic Seal, another Hieratic Sky. Wow, that's a lot of Hieratics. Okay, final pack of ghosts. Can it be in the final pack, guys? Let's do this. Madolce, Cosmojo, Metaphors, Madolce, and Galaxy Eye Cypher X Dragon. Not a bad card. Not a bad card. All right. Coming down to the final Gold Series Haunted Mind pack. The final pack of the video. We've done pretty well so far in terms of the Gold Series Haunted Mind. Let's see if we can end it strong with another blue eyes so right now we've pulled all three of the best ghost rares so we're really just hoping for another one which is it, it's possible it happens a lot in these boxes that you get doubles because there's only six different ones so it's very likely to get a double all right the three cards we are going to set right here hopefully not knock over the setup this time go through the commons real quick lady in white i feel like that might be okay but it did get reprinted i think so maybe not we've got the bone crusher the reveal Ooh, Brionic. That's a very cool card. I do like that one. We have another Ultimate Time Lord. And the final card of the video. Will it be a double? Double Blue Eyes. Come on. MST, Solemn Judgment. Let's go. Ooh, double MST. I will take that. That's very good. That is very good. If there's going to be a double, I want it to be one of those three. And the card looks pretty good. I mean, it's got some, definitely got some scuffing on it. Um, but that is okay. That is really, really cool. Wow, what an opening. That's a great box. We did really well here. That was a really awesome Haunted Mind box. So make sure you guys go check out Yugi Mo's video. Link in the description. Let him know if I won or if he won. He's going to have to have a pretty good opening. 
to actually beat us. So if he pulls like maybe one from Ghost from the Past, he'll have a chance. Or if he pulls double blue eyes, that'd be really good as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget the special edition opening coming up this Saturday. Every single special edition. It's going to be awesome. If you enjoyed the video, just subscribe because we have more epic stuff coming up. And that's it for this one. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!